नमस्ते एवरीवन नमस्ते ओके सो विल स्टार्ट ओके सो एवरीवन जस्ट सिट इन सुखासना सिंपल विथ क्रॉस लेग्स ओके आप सेट इन सुखासना कीप योर बैक स्ट्रेट येस्टरडे वी डे सुखासना सो यू नो वेरी वेल हाउ टू डू सुखासना जस्ट प्लेस द पाम्स ऑन द नीज एंड टेक आउट द ग्लूट्स मसल्स आउट एंड सिट ऑन योर सिटिंग बोन एंड कीप योर बैक स्ट्रेट पाम्स ऑन द नीज चेस्ट लिफ्टेड अप रोल डाउन चेस्ट अप back straight close your eyes take a deep inhalation and deep exhalation eyes remain closed deep inhale and deep exhale deep inhalation and deep exhalation create a space between your legs and groin area now with inhale and exhale join your palms in front of your chest near the anaha chakra heart center now from here we going to do three times om chanting together and louder with inhale om After that, Patanjali's prayer. Yoga na chitasya, pade na vacham, malam sarirasya, chavedya kena, yopa karotam. प्रवरम मुनीना पतंजलि प्राजलि प्राण तोस्म आबाहु पुषाकार संकचक्र श्रीधारिण सहस्त्र शीर संस्वेत प्रणमा पतंजलि प्रणमा पतंजलि प्रणमा पतंजलि न वन मोर डीप इन हेल डीप एक्सेल रब योर बोथ पाम्स टुगेदर पुट योर पाम्स ऑन योर आईज ऑन योर फेस and then slowly slowly release your arms down and gradually open your eyes <clears throat> okay so now even just today we will learn about the completely about the downward facing dog so uh maybe tomorrow i will teach you about the adjustment and alignment what is the adjustment and what is the alignment but today we are going to i am going to show you the uh, downward facing dog with adjustment and with hands on adjustment with props as well so uh there's only few points remember that we have the three types of adjustments okay you can just remember that we have the yeah, to, uh, tomorrow i will explain this we have the three types of adjustments the one with instruction okay with verbal cues 
So this type of ad adjustment we can use with the advanced students, those who already know about the postures. But because if I teach the beginner students and if I am going, if I am said to you, okay, just go into this postures, they cannot go that postures because they don't know about the postures. So this type of uh, adjustment we can just only give the with advanced students. So second adjustment is that adjustment with props. Okay, adjustment is prop. That means we can use the block, belt, booster, everything. Okay, but the last one is very important. Very important adjustment with hands. Hands on adjustment is very important because in this time we are going to touch someone. Okay, we are going to adjust with the hands to the students. Okay, so this is the very uh, important adjustment. Hands on adjustment. So tomorrow I will tell you in the very uh, very details. So today I'm gonna show you the downward facing dog then we will start the practice so today uh, with, with us this is a sail can you show can you show your face so he is sail he is my nephew and so he will do the downward facing dog and i will explain on him okay so if you want to write down everyone you can just write down about the adjustment alignment of this postures because uh, because now we are talking about the adjustment and alignment of this posture. So, <clears throat> can you go into the downward facing dog? Okay. So now you can see in this time he is in the position of downward facing dog. So everyone just remember that very important things whenever you are going to explain the postures whenever you are just on not only down facing dog every postures explain with palms head like in this way step by step you can also explain this foot knees thighs hips abdomen then palms then chest like in this way okay we don't need to explain the asana like in this way from here then here then here okay just try to explain your asana with like one, two, three. Okay. Then we can easily learn about that posture. So he is doing a downward facing dog. So whenever you are doing the downward facing dog, the first, first position is that we can see on his palm, he is just opening the fingers. He is just spreading the fingers. Okay. So in this position of downward facing dog, we just need to spread our fingers, spread the finger. That means we have to place our entire palm onto the mat okay we don't need to give the pressure on your wrist okay just trying to press your fingertips as well okay and remember that in this position this is a very important position in this position our arms our arms should be in line with your shoulder okay not like this open for good yeah not like this just your palms in line with your shoulder. Clear? Now, very important things for those who have the hyperextension elbow. Hyperextension elbow means those elbows who is coming out like in this way. The inner elbow is facing out. Like in, I will show you. Suppose that I am doing the cat and cow position. If my inner elbow facing each other, so this is the correct. But if my elbow is rotating out, you can see. My inner elbow is coming out. So this is the hyperextension elbow. That means if we are doing this position and down facing dog, so it will give you the problem. Maybe the one month and two months, you will feel, you will feel the pain on your elbow. That's why remember that we just need to check that our inner elbow in the anatomically word, we can say this eye of the elbow. Okay. This point inner elbow should be facing each other. Okay. And an elbow facing each other. Clear? Now, come on to the head. See that in this time, the sile head is going down. That means the ear in line with your upper arm. Okay? Your ear in line with your upper arm. So this is for the beginner. Suppose that if you are not comfortable, so you can just relax your head. Just look down and your ear in line with your upper arm. Okay, now for the advanced, those who can do the advanced position, now they can just bring your head more in. They can bring your head more in. Why? That time he need to look at the navel. Okay, that time he just trying to look at the navel. But if the beginner is doing this posture, trying to look at the navel, they, feel, they will feel a pain on the neck muscles. 
okay that's why first point is that to keep your ear in line with your upper arm clear <clears throat> now about the spine see that in this time kartik sahil is is way kar as we will now everyone see that you can see in this posture so can you tell me this posture is right or wrong anyone can get tell this is the right or wrong yeah so uh, in this time what happening why it's wrong the spine is going to be rounded okay so in this time he is doing the, doing in the wrong way and is still on the foot as well he, his feet also in the wrong way because why his feet is coming like in this way toes out and heel in so how we need to place our foot slightly your toes in and heel out like in this way you can see toes in and heels out clear now then very important thing on the feet open your legs according to your hip distance okay open your legs hip with apart and you can just open your feet one feet apart clear now about the spine how we can give the adjustment to the spine to correct the spine see we have the lots of adjustment in the hands on adjustment so whenever you are giving the uh, just everyone just this is a very important point the class so whenever you are giving the hands on adjustment the first point is that we just need to ask permission to touch okay we have to ask permission can i can i give the adjustments can i touch you like this way okay so i cannot ask him because he is my brother so just come so he is doing a down facing dog so for the spine how i can give the adjustment see that i am will place my foot here one foot here and one foot back why i am putting my one foot back because my back foot will give me the force to uh, give me the support to press is more up okay if i am putting my foot like in this way so i cannot give the pressure okay so how how i am placing my palm i am placing my palms in this way okay in this way my entire palms yeah so cat isme isme me kariyo aise me kar now you can see how i am putting my palms like in this way on the sacrum not on the spine on the sacrum region clear now sai usi me kar do dobara now see that now one foot is here and one foot is back then i have the big support so whenever you are giving the adjustment remember this thing as well when uh, just take a deep inhale not you just teach him take a deep inhale and with exhale whenever he will do the exhale then i have to press it down clear what i am doing i am just giving the pressure on the spine on the sacrum region but i am not pressing it back i am just pressing it back and up back and up at the same time i am just moving the spine back and moving the hips up okay clear this is the first adjustment so do you feel that do you see that what happening when i give when i give the adjustment see that now again just see that ha huh? try to focus there what i am doing so whenever i am giving the adjustment see here what happening yeah he is moving back yes his he, palm he, is moving he, back his palm is moving back. back so again yeah. we have to ask permission so how we can put the we can just put our foot on the palm but don't put your heels and don't put your mount of the toes put your center part of the foot okay then we then he will not feel the uncomfort like this cut sail is vimo kar dekha so kar i will show you see that now so everyone just he is opening the fingers i will put my heel between the thumb and index finger okay between the thumb and index finger then put my middle of the foot and then toes down on the mat again clear okay so now then ab isme aa ja now then see when i put my foot in this way okay then you can see there so if he is doing a downward facing dog i will give the adjustment take a deep inhale and exhale i am pressing back so what happening at the time he cannot move his palm back and at the same time this adjustment is important to stretch our outer body to stretch our outer part of the body when i am giving the adjustment thus i am moving up and then is stretching from the outer arm and then outer side of the body clear clear now yes. so now everyone just from the back side this adjustment also we can give from the back side see that 
one foot is here and place the interlock the fingers interlocking your fingers and place the palms on the sacrum same and then see i am not only pressing the spine not pre not only moving the spine i am just placing my palms on the sacrum region and with my elbow on the hip with my elbow on the outer hip okay so what happening whenever i am moving take a deep inhale and exhale see that whenever i am moving my palms pressing the spine back and my elbows lifting the hips up with the palms with the palms spine is back and move with the elbows hips is lifting up clear so i am giving this adjustment in this way to place the palms and then moving upward moving upward clear now mm -hmm. yeah so now very important point is that so as i'll is way mukar as way mukar you can remove your t-shirt utar ke ek baar utar ke ek baar t-shirt utar <clears throat> i mean this is this is the last point of this postures to give the adjustment because uh, see that a uh, shoulder could yes see that now this is a very important thing aur aa gaya now if we can see here so what happening in this time shoulder go right yes so sometimes what happen the student do like in this way mm -hmm. okay the shoulder and neck shoulder and neck coming closer that means they are squeezing the trapezius muscles here okay so if they are doing this posture in this way after the few times they cannot hold this posture for a long time they feel the pain on the neck muscles okay they feel the tiredness on the neck muscles so how see that whenever he is moving the spine back and pressing back then they need to only just rotate this elbow out clear mm -hmm. do you feel that now the the shoulder blade is going away from each other Killer. Mm -hmm. So whenever you are moving your upper arm out, so that time you feel that you feel the space between your shoulder blade. Killer. Now, now you can see there is a space between the shoulder and the neck. Killer. So don't don't do like this. Don't do like in this way. Like in this way. Just trying to open the neck. Trying to open your hands and open the shoulder as well. If you are squeezing like in this way, so it will hurt your neck. So just try to relax your shoulders like this. okay and move your shoulder blade away from each other we need to relax this back muscle we don't need to squeeze this trying to relax this muscles clear yeah okay so one more important thing sir kartik is sail is bhima kar ghum jara ek bar ha bas last point so this is the last point see <clears throat> lift your heels up okay see that he is lifting the heels up this is the problem with every beginner okay if they are lifting the heels this is the problem with every beginner so why they are lifting the heels up one more important thing if if the student hamstring is not that much flexible if the leg muscle is not that much flexible so they are lifting the heels up if they are trying to press the heels down they feel the stretch there okay so how how we can give the adjustment them we can just tease them use the block under the palm clear so what we are doing we just increase the area under the palm then you can easily drop the heels down but then then day by day just we need to remove the block and use the cushion then again thinny blanket then slow is on the floor clear now clear about the heels clear about the back everything is clear now very important question and first question i forget about this the first question is coming coming from every student in down facing dog what is the measurement between the legs and palm this is the first Shoulder question length. no 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 measurement uh, what is the distance what is the distance between legs and palm legs and palm i am not saying about the no, palms oh, palms okay, and shoulder you. yeah can Three you feet? can you do down with hand of the block da okay this is the first question what is the distance between the palms and legs palms and foot No, not 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 three feet. Not not three feet. Uh, three feet is on the trikona asana, but not in this posture. So, in my opinion, there is no measurement in this posture because why? What happened? If we are using the measurement, so sometimes it's very hard to do that because, in my opinion, you have to check there about according to your flexibility, according to your height. 
Okay. First of all, the second point, if we want to go in this course a very perfect way, so I will show how we can go. Just like that. So, so, so what's, so is, is the distance uh, like the smaller distance is better or a more wider is better? Not, not more wider, not very slower. Okay. I will show how, okay. How we can check. So we can, we can check the measurement in two ways from the plank pose plan the from, from the cat and cow position. Suppose that if the student is advanced, if the student is very advanced, they can easily do the downward dog from the plank pose like this. You can see now, if I am doing the plank pose, now Chaturanga Dandasana and see that now. The spine is straight, palms straight, and back straight, and heels are touching on the floor. Plank pose, Chaturanga Dandasana. Okay, clear? Suppose that if there is a beginner, so they cannot move back. So how they can check? Just come into the cat and cow position. We we are we always doing this. Uh, I gave you the class two days, so we always doing the same way. Okay, from the cat and cow position. Just check there. If your cat and cow position is correct, then you can easily do the uh, downward facing dogs. If your palms under the shoulder and if your knees under the he under the hips, then you can easily do the downward facing dog. Like in this way, lift your knees up slightly, then move your palms back. Your spine is straight, and then slowly, slowly. Is state your legs. Clear? So now we can check the measurement between the, uh, we can check the measurement from the uh, uh, cat and cow position and then plank pose. Okay. And one more important thing I see yesterday, the lots of students doing the Ashtang Namaskar Asana. I didn't remember the name. So one is training doing Ashtang Namaskar Asana like in this way, like in this way. Okay, so this is not Ashtang Namaskar Asana. Why we are calling this Ashtang Namaskar Asana? This is called eight limbs pose. That means our eight limbs are touching on the floor. Our both the foot, our knees, our palms, our chest, and then chin. This is the Ashtang Namaskar Asana. Clear? And one more important thing. So I can see, I see yesterday also, some students feeling very difficult to go into the, uh, go into this position to Ashtang Namaskar Asana from the mountain pose. So I told you already how we can go. So same things. If you are coming up for downward facing dog, same, we need to go down. Just drop the knees down. See that I'm in a cat and cow position and then chest and chin, then toes pointing back and then move forward. You can easily come up. But if you are dropping your knees more forward, like here, See that, huh? Then I cannot do the Ashtang Namaskar. Now you can see. I cannot go down. Why? Because my cat and cow position is not correct. My legs is coming more forward. But if I am dropping his more back like here, then I also cannot do this. Clear? That's why just trying to drop the legs very easy way. And then check that your knees and hip in a line or not. Clear? Then we can easily do the Ashtang Namaskar Asana as well. Clear everyone? Do I think the elbows, uh, I hope oh, everything is clear about downward, downward facing dog. Do the elbows go out or stay straight? No, when we your do elbows see that your elbows is pointing in and up to the ceiling. The elbows facing up to the ceiling. Okay? okay. Not back, not out like it is. Just clipping in and up to the ceiling. Okay. okay. So one more important thing. Maybe Swamiji yesterday told you about this posture or today. Uh, the half moon pose. Half moon pose. So I will clear about the half moon pose. Uh, how we can do this posture. There is a lots of variation, lots of variation for the half moon pose. So we can also go in the half moon pose from in this way. This is a very simple way for every beginner. See that how placing the palms down. So if you are going to the uh, right side, so whenever you just remember that whenever you are placing your palm down, so place your left palm in front of your left foot and slightly out clear slightly out slightly out then lift your legs in this way clear then slightly move your legs move forward slide your leg forward like in this way and then slowly slowly extend this leg and then lift up clear 
So if you're not comfortable, so you can use the block, you can use the block in this way, you can use the block in this way and in this way, and you can also use the fingertips and then stretch up. Clear? So rest of the things I will teach you when we will do this portion. Maybe it's better to teach when you are doing, okay? So everyone, we will start. Any confusion about a downward facing dog? Yeah. Everything is clear? Yeah. 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 Okay. So we will start the practice. So we will start the joints movement. So please sit in Sukhasana. Simple with cross legs. Keep your back straight. Palms on the knees. Back straight. So a few seconds. Take a deep inhale and deep exhale. Deep inhale and deep exhale. Deep inhalation and deep exhalation. Then after that, with inhale, stretch your arms up over the head. Keep your back straight. Slightly move your legs forward. I showed yesterday, create the space between your legs and groin area. And with exhale, for the gentle twisting. Twist to the right side. Gentle twisting. Your arms is stretched. Arms is stretched. Arms in line with your ear. Inhale again, back to the center. Exhale, change the side. So whenever you are bending to the right or left, so your knees are going lifting up. So trying to press your knees down. Try to press your knees down and try to twist more as much as you can. Inhale again, back to the center. Exhale, change the side towards the right side. Inhale up, back to the center. Exhale, change the side towards the left side. Try to go with every exhalation. Inhale, back to the center. With exhale for deep twisting, place the left palm on the back and your right palm behind the back and twist to your spine. Open the chest, open the chest as much as you can. Very nice. Stay there. Keep your back straight. Stay for a few more seconds. <clears throat> Inhale. Stretch your arms again back to the center. Exhale. Change the side towards the left side. So today we will do the little bit more harder practice. Twist your spine first. Then inhale again back to the center. Arms over the head. Exhale. Change the side towards the right side. Stay in this position, stay for a few seconds. One, stay, keep breathing. Two, and three, inhale, back to the center. And the last time with exhale, change the side. Towards the left side, perfect. Stay, three, two, one, inhale again, back to the center, arms over the head. Exhale, bend forward, the straight spine. Keep your back straight. Don't touch your palms on the floor. Arms stretched, arms stretched. Don't touch, yeah, try to go more down. Your spine is straight, your spine is straight. Very nice, feel the stretch on your glutes muscles. Back straight, perfect. Yesterday I told you how we can do the forward bending. Forward bending is coming from your hip joint. Try to bend forward, very nice. Stay, then inhale again, stretch your arms up. Exhale, bend forward. Stay, arms stretched. Stay there, stay, very nice, perfect. Inhale again, stretch your arms up over the heart. Exhale, bend down one more time, bend forward. Stay there, stay. Don't touch your palms. Don't touch your palms. Arms stretched. Yeah. Then completely exhale. Make a fingertip cup shape on the floor. Touch your palms down. Make a fingertip cup shape on the floor. Your spine is straight. Then inhale and exhale. Walk your fingers to the right side. Walk your fingers to the right side. Try to go to the right side. Yeah. At the same time, lengthen the spine. Don't come up. Don't come up like this. Trying to move your spine. Trying to move your arms more down. Yeah, very nice. Hold this position. Press your left knee down. Inhale, back to the center. Walk your palms back to the center. 
Exhale, chain the side towards the left side. Left side, yes. Walk your palms to the left side. Perfect. Stay there. Stay, hold the position. One, two, and three. Inhale all the way back to the center and stretch your arms up over the head. And exhale, release the arms down. Now you can just open your arms by the side of your shoulder. Stretch your arms. Now only move your deltoid. Move, move for the shoulder. Yes. One, two, three, perfect. Four, five, five times more. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now reversely anti clockwise. One, Two, perfect. Arm stretch, arm stretch, arm stretch. Four, five, six, seven. Keep doing eight, nine, and ten. Then relax your arms down. Take your neck. Rotate your neck right or left. Relax there. Now then extend your legs forward. Sit in the Dandasana on the base position. Keep your legs together, feet together. Sit on your sitting bone, back straight. Now from here, bend your right leg at the knee. Interlock your fingers, you can grab your thigh underneath the right knee. Left toes pointing towards you, okay? Now with inhale, extend your right leg at the knee. Exhale, flex down. Inhale again, extend your right leg up. Exhale, bend down. Inhale, extend your right leg up in the air. Exhale, bend down. Inhale, extend your right leg up. Now stay here. Catch your ankle with your palms and trying to stretch your right leg more up as much as you can. Stretch it more up. Don't bend your knees, huh? Yesterday I told you, don't go more up, but don't bend your knees. You can stay here, but don't bend your knees. You stay there where you feel stretched. Lift up, lift up, lift up, stay. Five, four, three, two, one. Now see what I'm doing. You stay there and catch this right foot with your left palm from the outside. From the outside. Outside, yeah. Yes. And then place the right palm from the inside. From the inside. Yes. And then try to straight your right leg. Yeah. Try to stretch. Try to straight. Try to straight. Straight, straight. You are holding here. Just try to straight this. Yes. Straight as much as you can. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just hold there. Hold there. This is the first time. Don't force. Stay. One, one, two. Three, four, five. Then slowly, slowly exhale. Release your right leg down. Then take your legs, take your thighs. Then change your leg. Bend the left leg at the knee. Interlock the fingers. You can grab your thighs as well. And then with inhale, extend the left leg up in the air. Exhale, bend down. Inhale, extend your left leg up. Exhale, bend down. Inhale, extend your left leg up. Exhale, flex down. Inhale up. This is a warm up. And stay. Then catch your left ankle with your palms. And then try to stretch up. Try to stretch up. This is a warm up for the advanced one. Stay. One, two, three, four. And five. Now again, catch your left foot with your right palm from the outside, from the right side, yes. And place the left palm with inside. Yeah, maybe the Kanchanji or other uh, Kanchanji was doing. Yeah. Yes, very nice. Now stretched. Now it's right. Now try to stretch. Try to stretch up. Yeah. One. Stretch up. Very nice. Perfect. Two. Everyone doing correct. Three. 
four and five. Then slowly, slowly with exhale, release the left leg down. Take your legs, take your thighs. Then bend your right leg again at the knee, like in this way. Yeah. Now then stretch your right arm up with inhale. Stretch your right arm up. Exhale, lean forward, lean forward, swing your right arm back, swing the right arm back if possible. So you can catch your both arms in the back side. Otherwise, you can just hold there and then trying to go down, trying to bend forward. Try to bend forward. Yes. Stay there. Stay in this position. One. Two. Three, four, five. Inhale, stretch your right arm up again. And exhale, release the arms down. <laughs> now change your arm. This posture will do the twisting. With inhale, stretch your left arm up. As you exhale, hook your left armpit outside of your right knee. Okay? Clear? Then, if you possible, so you can swing your arm back and catch your both arms. Otherwise, you can just hold here and then twist your spine and look back. Okay, otherwise you can hold here and twist your spine and look back. Those who can do, just swing your arm and look back. Very nice. You stay there. This is the twisting one. One. Two. Stay. Try to look back. Keep your back straight. Three. Very nice. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Four and five. Now with inhale, stretch your arms up. And exhale, release the arms down. Then extend your right leg forward. Take your legs, take your thighs. Then change your leg. Bend the left leg at the knee. And with inhale, stretch your left arm up over the head. Exhale, lean forward. Swing your left arm back and catch your both arms on your back side. And then try to bend forward. Trying to bend forward. Bend forward, bend forward. Yes, yeah, stay there. One, stay. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, stretch your arms up. And exhale, release the arms down. Now change the position. With inhale, stretch your right arm up. Exhale, swing your right arm and hook your right armpit outside of your left knee. Clear with the twisting. Those who can do, just swing your arms. Otherwise, you can just hold there and then twist your spine. Try to look back. Yeah, very nice, everyone. Twist back. Five. Four. Look back, look back. Three. Two, one. Inhale again. Back to the center. Stretch your arms up over the heart. And exhale, release the arms down. Then extend your left leg forward. Sit in Dandasana. So now, <clears throat> we are doing the combination of the Paschimottanasana and Halasana. So be careful. Don't break your neck. Okay? Do like this. See, I'm, I'm show you first. With inhale, we have to go back for the halasana like in this way. And with exhale, we have to come forward. Clear? This is for the warm-up. Inhale, go back for the halasana. Exhale, bend forward for Paschimottanasana. See what I'm doing? Whenever I'm coming forward, you can see my spine. You can look at here. So I'm not bending forward like in this way. I'm just coming up and bending for my hip joint. You can see here. And then bend down. Okay, don't with your spine. Just try to lengthen the spine. That's why we are doing this posture. Okay, now with inhale, go. Go back for the halasana. Touch your feet backside. Exhale, bend forward. Feel the movement and do that. Inhale, go back. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, go back for the halasana. Exhale, bend forward for Paschimottanasana. Inhale, go back for the halasana. Keep doing. Exhale, bend forward for halasana. I will tell you when you will rest. Inhale, go back. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, go back. Faster, faster, faster. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, go back. 
Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, go back. Stay there. Now stay in the halasana. Go back and stay in the halasana. Yes, stay in the halasana. Your toes on the mat. Your legs straight. Don't bend your knees. Legs straight. Yeah, hold this position. You can catch your feet with your palms. Catch your feet with your palms and try to straight your legs. Don't bend your knees. Very nice. Stay there. Hold this position for a few seconds. Feel the stretch. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. Then drop your knees beside your ear. Drop your knees beside your ear. Like the Karnapirasana. Drop the knees beside the ear. Yes, beside your ear. Drop the knees. Drop the knees. Bend the legs at the knee. Yes, stay there. Stay in this time. You can feel the stretch on your cervical region. Stay. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now take a deep inhale. And with exhale, directly bend forward for Paschimottanasana. Directly bend forward for Paschimottanasana. Yes. Hold this position. Hold this position. Try to bend more down as much as you can. Go down. Go down for Paschimottanasana. Yes. Stay. Stay. Keep your back straight. Keep your back straight. And then inhale all the way up. To stretch your arms up. And exhale. Release the arms down. Okay, one more time. You can see everyone. This uh, I can see a lot of the spine. This you are doing holding here. Okay, spine is rounded. So if your spine is rounded, so don't force yourself to go down. Just try to catch your big toe and then then stay here. Catch here and stay. Yes, and then slowly, slowly more down, more down, more down. Yes, like in this way. You don't need to bend like this. Just try to stay here. Yeah. Yeah, stay there. Very nice. Stay in this position. It's okay. No problem. Now again, with inhale, stretch your arms up. The same thing with exhale. Catch your big toe. Catch your big toe. And then lift your chest up. Open the chest. Then you can feel your spine is straight. Yeah. Those who cannot catch their big toe, they can catch your sin bone. They can catch your thigh and lift the chest up. Then slowly, slowly. Catch more forward, catch more forward, catch more forward, catch more forward, and then go down, go down, go down with a straight spine. Yes, perfect. This is a way to straight your spine. Now with inhale, stretch your arms up one more time. And exhale, bend forward. Same again, bend forward, stay there, chest up, back straight. Yeah, hold that. One, two, Three. Now inhale, stretch your arms up and exhale, release the arms down. <clears throat> shake your legs, shake your thighs. Now everyone just bend your legs at the knee. Join your soles of the feet. I think everyone knows about this posture. This is a very easy posture. Butterfly. So just join your soles of the feet together and trying to bring your heels closer to your uh, groin area. Then shake your legs. You can close your eyes and then shake fast. One, two, shake your legs. Three, feel the movement. Four, back straight, back straight. Five, chest lifted up, yes. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now you can see what I'm doing. Place your elbow and push your, push your thighs with your elbows. Push your thighs with the elbows and then bend down. Push your thighs with the elbows and then bend down. Yes. What I'm doing, I'm just at the same time, I'm pressing my thighs down and going forward as well. With my spine is straight. You can see with my spine is straight. Yes. And then try to bend down. Bend down. Stay there. Stay there. First stay. Press your thighs. Press your calf muscles down. Very nice. Stay for a few seconds. Feel the stretch there. Then now again, inhale up and sit down. One. One more time. Sit Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Now in this time, you stretch the arms up with inhale and exhale, place the palms down and then walk your fingers more forward and then try to go down. Press the knees down, press the knees down. Yes, try to push, try to push your knees down by yourself. Yeah, hold there, hold there, hold there, hold there. One, two, stay, three, four, and five. Now inhale all the way up, stretch your arms up, and exhale, release the arms down. Then extend the legs forward, sit in Dandasana, take your legs, take your thighs, then bend your right leg at the knee into the half Vajrasana, and then bend your left leg at the knee, come into the Vajrasana. So from here, we are doing the one advanced postures. So <clears throat> the advanced variation of Vajrasana is that Virasana. So everyone just see what I'm doing first. You can see here first, I'm, what I'm doing, I'm just opening my legs from the backside. You can see, open your legs from the backside and then take out your calf muscles, rotate your calf muscles out and then try to try to try to sit down try to sit down but those who cannot sit down because it will this posture will give you the lots of stretch on your knees so who cannot sit down they can use the block to sit on the block okay because maybe sometimes it's posture this will hurt you okay see that my toes is coming out everything is out calf muscle is out yeah first of all come in this position Place the palms here, come in this position, and then take out your legs out, legs out, and take out your calf muscles out, calf out, and then try to slowly, 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 slowly sit down, slowly, slowly sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, slowly, slowly. Yeah, that's why I said it will give you the pain, lots of pain there. Slowly, slowly sit down. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Hold there. We don't need to do anything, just try to hold. Very nice. Stay there. Close your eyes. So in this posture, it will you feel the pain on your hip joint, on your knees joint, and this posture will be helpful to tone your ligament of the knees. And this posture is helpful as well to stretch your quads, to stretch your quadriceps. Yeah, that's why we are just opening the legs. Stay there for a few seconds only. Eyes closed, deep inhalation and deep exhalation. Feel the pain. Keep a smile on your face. Five, four, three, two, one. Then slowly, slowly come up. Place the palms down again. And then you can also relax down in the child pose. Relax down in the child pose for a few seconds. Only four, five to ten seconds. Relax in the child pose. Lie down. Completely <laughs> went down. In the child pose. Yeah, relax there. <clears throat> bend down, bend down, bend down, bend down, everyone. In this position, yes, relax there. Keep breathing, relax, completely relaxed in this position. Okay, now slowly, slowly come up. Slowly, slowly come up and come into the cat and cow position. Come into the cat and cow position. So today class will be maybe on the strength base. So lift your knees up slightly in this way. Lift the knees slightly up from the mat and then slightly move forward. Slightly move forward towards the palms. Yes, stay there. Stay there, try to engage your arm muscles. This posture will give the strength on your arms. Yes, one, stay there, two, hold, 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 hold. Knees lifted up, three, engage your core, four, and five. Then exhale, drop the knees down. Drop the knees down, very nice, perfect. Now one more time with inhale, lift your knees up, lift your knees up, and then slightly move forward, slightly move forward. You stay there. One, stay, two, perfect, perfect, three, four, and five, then drop your knees down. Now from here, everyone just see here, step the right leg back, and then step your left leg back, come into the plank pose. Step your right leg and left leg back, 
come into the plank pose then drop the elbows down drop the elbows down is your one knees lifted up only elbows down yes try to hold this position only try to hold don't lift your hips up like in this way don't lift your hips up try to hips in line yeah hips in line yes very nice now you can feel the stretch there you can feel the pressure stay one two and three inhale up again come back in the plank pose come back in the plank pose perfect 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 now exhale one more time go down elbows down on the mat <coughs> little bit harder today yeah stay one engage the core so in this time i'm building up your stamina three four five stay there stay 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 inhale up again plank pose plank pose back to the plank pose then exhale drop the knees and then relax into the child pose relax into the child pose for a few seconds a deep inhale and deep exhale now inhale again come up everyone come into the plank pose come into the plank pose plank pose now from here just come into the downward facing dog downward facing dog then step your right leg forward and then step your left leg forward between the palms then inhale all the way up stretch your arms up and exhale release the arms down so now we will do the sun salutation of hatha yoga bring your feet together stand in tadasana okay if you want to relax for few second you can relax two and five breath here if you want to take water you can take the water relax there deep inhale and deep exhale deep inhale and deep exhale arms by the side now start the sun salutation a now inhale and exhale join the palms in front of your chest namaskar asana now with inhale stretch your arms up and arch your back for hasta uttan asana exhale bend forward for padasta asana keep your back straight place the palms down inhale step your right leg back exhale drop the right knee down right toes pointing back with inhale your chest up lift your chest up press the thighs down press your thighs down stay there exhale lean forward place the palms down then step your left leg back for the mountain pose feet together feet together inhale drop your knees exhale chin and chest exhale chin and chest for ashtang namaskar asana very nice inhale toes pointing back and slightly move forward and lift your chest up those who are doing that way they are doing perfect now exhale go back tuck your toes in and go back for the mountain pose parvatasana parvatasana inhale step your right leg forward between the palms exhale drop your left knee down left toes pointing back with inhale chest up exhale lean forward place the palms down and step your left leg forward for padastasana hand to foot pose inhale all the way up with a straight spine arch your back arch your back exhale join the palms in front of your chest namaskar asana and exhale release the arms down see here so i see lots of people after the padastasana they are coming like in this way don't come like this just try to come like in this way with a straight spine okay so <clears throat> complete this round so inhale and exhale join the palms in front of your chest inhale stretch your arms and arch your upper back exhale bend forward palms beside your feet with a straight spine inhale stay step your left leg back 
Drop your left knee down, left toes pointing back with exhale and inhale your chest up. Very nice. Exhale, lean forward, place the palms down, then step your right leg back for mountain pose. Inhale, drop the knees. Exhale, chin and chest. Astang Namaskar Asana. Inhale, toes pointing back and lift your chest up. Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose. Exhale, go back for the Mountain Pose, Parvatasana. Inhale, step your left leg forward. Exhale, drop the right knee down with inhale, your chest up. Sangeeta ji, Sangeeta ji, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> Exhale, place the palms down and then step your right leg forward. For Padastasana. Inhale all the way up with a straight spine. Stretch your arms up and arch your back. Arch your back. Arch back, arch back, arch back. Dipti ji, arch back. Yeah, then exhale, join the palms in front of your chest. Namaskar asana, and then release the arms down for Tadasana. Now, second round. Inhale and exhale, join the palms in front of your chest. Namaskar asana. Inhale, you stretch your arms up and arch your back for Hasta Uttan asana. Exhale, bend forward, Padastasana. Inhale, step your right leg back. Drop your right knee down, exhale, and inhale your chest up. Exhale, lean forward, place the palms down, then step your left leg back, for mountain pose. Inhale, drop your knees. Exhale, chin and chest, Astang Namaskar Asana. Inhale, toes pointing back and lift your chest up. Bhujangasana. Exhale, tuck your toes and go back for the mountain pose. Parvatasana. Stay in the Parvatasana for a few seconds. Deep inhalation and deep exhalation. Deep inhale and deep exhale. Now with inhale, step your right leg forward between the palms. Drop the left knee down, chest up with inhale. Exhale, palms down, and then step your left leg forward. Padastasana, everyone, everyone is forgetting about the posture. Why? With inhale all the way up, stretch your arms up over the head. Arch your back. Exhale, Namaskarasana, join the palms in front of your chest. And exhale, Puttarasana, release Puttarasana. Now complete this round. Inhale and exhale, join the palms. Inhale, arms up, arch your back. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, step your left leg back. Exhale, drop the left knee down, toes pointing back. With inhale, chest up. Exhale, place the palms down. And then step your right leg back. Mountain pose. Inhale, drop your knees. Exhale, chin and chest. Inhale, toes pointing back and your chest up, Bhujangasana. Exhale, go back, mountain pose, Parvatasana. With inhale, step your right leg forward. Drop the left knee down with inhale, chest up. Exhale, place the palms down. And you step your left leg forward, Padastasana. Inhale, all the way up, stretch your arms up. Exhale, join the palms, Namaskar Asana, and release Tadasana. Now complete this round. Inhale and exhale, Namaskar Asana. Inhale, arch your back, stretch your arms up. Exhale, bend forward, Padastasana. Inhale, step your left leg back. Drop the left knee down with the exhale and chest up. 
Exhale, place the palms down, then step your right leg back. Mountain pose. Inhale, drop your knees. Exhale, chin and chest. Ashtang Namaskar Asana. Inhale, your chest up, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step your left leg forward. Drop the right knee down with the exhale and chest up. Exhale, lean forward, place the palms down. And then step your right leg forward. Padastasana. Inhale, all the way up, stretch your arms up. Exhale, Namaskar Asana. And then release Futara Asana. Okay. So now, listen carefully. Last round, I will not teach any instruction. I will just give only the posture's name. I will only teach the posture name. Then you can remember the posture name. Okay? What is the posture? Okay. So just try last round. Then you can easily learn about the posture name as well. Inhale and exhale. Namaskar asana. Inhale. Hasta uttan asana. Exhale. Padastasana. Inhale. Asso Sanchalan. Asso Sanchalan asana. Exhale. Parvatasana. Mountain pose. Mountain pose. Parvatasana. Go back, Vikramji. Inhale. Drop your knees. And Ashtang Namaskar asana with exhale. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale, again, Parvatasana, mountain pose. Perfect. Inhale, Asasanchalan Asana, horse riding pose. Exhale, Padastasana, Padhastasana, hand to foot pose. Inhale, Hasta Uttanasana. Exhale, Namaskar Asana, and then release Tadasana. Asana. Perfect. Now complete this round. Inhale and exhale, Namaskar Asana. Inhale, Hasta Uttana Asana. Exhale, Padasta Asana. Inhale, Asusanchalana Asana. Exhale, Parvatasana. Inhale and exhale, Astang Namaskar Asana, eight limbs pose. Inhale, Bhujangasana, Cobra pose. Exhale, go back, Parvatasana, mountain pose. Inhale, Asusanchalan Asana, horse riding pose. Exhale, go back, go forward, forward, Padastasana. Inhale, all the way up, Hasta Uttanasana. Exhale, Namaskar Asana, and the release Tarasana. Very nice. Perfect, everyone. You know everyone's portion name. So do the Kati Chakra Asana, side twisting with exhale. Fully exhale. No, 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 no. Don't do like this. The Kati Chakra Asana is like, not like this. Like this. See that? With exhale, put the palms here and this arm back. Like in this way. Yes. Yes. And then relax for a few seconds. Only just two and three breaths. Close the eyes. Open your palms. For standing Savasada. Relax there. Relax for a few seconds. Now from here, everyone just come out from the relaxation. Come out from the relaxation. Stand in Tarasana. Feet together. Feet together. Now with inhale, stretch your arms up over the head. Keep your back straight. huh? Don't arch back. Back straight. Exhale. 
see here only bend forward at 90 only bend forward at 90 yes what i am doing just trying to lengthen the spine bring the arms stretched yes perfect stay stay keep your back straight those who cannot stretch their arms for long they can place the palm on thigh and then try to go like in this way yeah everybody is doing now huh placing the palms on thigh yeah stay there Stay there, lengthen the spine, lengthen the spine. See, don't move your hips back, okay? Your hips and heel in line. Now inhale again, stretch your arms up and arch your back now. Arch your back, arch your back. Exhale, bend forward at 90 again. Bend forward at 90 again. Keep your back straight. Perfect, perfect. Your arms in line with your ear. Don't open your arms like this. Bring the in line with your ear. Perfect. Perfect. Stay. Inhale. Up. Arch your back. Exhale. Bend forward at 90. Bend forward at 90. Stay there. Stay back straight. Dipti ji, you are younger than other, other one. Just try to stretch the arm forward. You can hold. Yeah. Stay, stay, stay. Lengthen the spine, everyone. Then inhale. One more time. Arch your back. And then with exhale, completely bend forward for Padastasana. Place the palms down. Now in this time, you step your left leg back. You step the left leg back. Drop the left knee down. Left knee down. Okay. Now from here, just only bring the arms forward. Try to bring your arms forward. You can see here what I'm doing. Just first of all, bring the arms forward and then lift your knees up lift your back knee up and then stretch your arms and stretch your arms as much as you can go down go down perfect perfect hold there one hold there two three four five then move your palms back move your palms back yes and then with this step change your leg left leg forward right leg back yes now then again, go back, go forward, arms stretch, arms stretch, go down, right knee lifted up, right knee lifted up, right knee lifted up and go down, stay there, one, stay, two, three, four, and five, then again, come up, and then go back for downward dog, shake your legs, shake your thighs, Take your legs, shake your thighs, perfect. Now one more time with inhale, step your right leg forward. Step the right leg forward between the palm. Drop the left knee down, left knee down. Bend the left leg at the knee. Catch your left ankle with your right palm, opposite arm. Now you can feel that stretch down. Then press it down, then press it down. Yes, try to press it down. Press down, press down towards your hips. Yeah, yeah. Feel the stretch on your quads. Press, press, press as much as you can. Press down. If you want to drop your elbow, you can drop your elbow down, like in this way. Yeah. If it's more comfortable. Very nice. Try to stretch, stretch. One, stretch. No gain without pain. Two, three, four, and five. Then exhale. Release the right leg down. Place your palms down. And then step your right leg back and then change your leg. You step the left leg forward, left leg forward, drop the right knee down and then bend your right leg at the knee, catch your right ankle with your left palm and then press your right heel down. Press the right leg down. Stay. Hold, 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 hold one. Yeah, Arunaji, can you move your legs more back? Can you move your back leg more back? More back. If you can, huh? Don't force. Yes. Now you can do. Now you feel that stretch there now. Yes. Now stay. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Then place the palms down. And then you step your left leg back. Downward facing dog again. Shake your legs, shake your thighs. Shake the legs, shake your thighs. 
with inhales you step your right leg forward between the palms see here extend your legs at the knee don't bend your legs extend the legs now all the way up everyone all the way up you can join the palms behind your back if possible join the palms make a namaste behind the back otherwise you can just only interlock the fingers okay then with inhale look up to the ceiling exhale bend forward exhale completely bend down yes legs straight don't bend your knees those who are feeling the heaviest stretch on their knees they can slightly bend their knees otherwise straight your legs they are feeling the heavy pain on the knees so they can bend otherwise straight your legs stay 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 one stay two three four and five now inhale all the way up now change the side turn your right foot in and left foot out change the side towards the left side okay now inhale again look up to the ceiling and exhale bend forward exhale bend down exhale bend forward try to bend down legs are straight bend down bend down very nice stay there knee straight try to straight your knees five four three two one now inhale up then exhale place the palm down bend your left leg at the knee again you step back for downward dog step back for downward facing dog now from here drop the knees and then lying down from your abdomen side okay lie down from the abdomen side now stretch your arms forward stretch your arms forward with inhale with inhale lift your chest up and lift your arms up legs down legs down don't lift your legs only arms only arms and chest yeah stay there stay one stay two three and exhale down relax your forehead on your back of the palm relax your forehead on the back of the palm relax there for a few second with inhale stretch your arms again and lift your chest up stretch your arms and lift your chest up very nice stay one two three then exhale down again relax down again relax down now in this time with inhale lift your both arms up and lift your legs up as well inhale lift up very nice perfect one stay two stay three then slowly slowly come down come down now one more time inhale lift your both legs up and lift your arms up perfect stay in this position try to look up look up more 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 stay one very nice two very nice three perfect four and five exhale down complete relax deep inhalation and deep exhalation deep inhalation and deep exhalation now bend your legs at the knee bend your legs at the knee yes catch your ankle catch your ankle for the dhanurasana bow pose half bow pose now inhale lift up yes very nice lift your chest up very nice very nice for dhanurasana bow pose stay here try to look up to the ceiling stretch your throat one stay there two stay perfect perfect three keep breathing keep breathing four and five exhale down 
Exhale down, relax for a few seconds. Inhale, up again, one more time. Bend your legs. Catch your ankle, catch your toes and inhale. Lift up, lift your chest up. Perfect. You stay there. Stay. Five. Four. Three. Push your legs back, push your legs back. Two. Perfect. Now one. Then exhale down. Now then turn, lie down on your back, lie down on your back, lie down on your back. Now hug your knees, hug your knees and do rolling. Do rolling, front and back, right or left, front and back and right or left. Do rolling. Then slowly, slowly, completely lying down back, lying down back, not for Savasana, okay? Arms by the side, not for Savasana, arms by the side of your thighs, by the side of your thighs. Turn your palms down, yes, palm facing down. Feet together for the core, exercise for the core. With inhale, lift your both legs up at 90. At 90, yes. Exhale, legs down at 10 degree. Away from the floor, slightly. Yeah. Inhale, lift up again. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift up again. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift up again. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, completely down. Then now relax, deep inhalation and deep exhalation. Now lie down for Savasana. Turn your palms up to the ceiling and completely relax there in the Savasana. Close your eyes, open your feet, open your arms and eyes closed, deep inhalation and deep exhalation. Complete relax.
Okay, now everyone slowly, slowly bring your awareness back to your body. Slowly, slowly move your fingers. Move your toes. Turn your neck to the right or left. Stretch your arms over the head. And then bend your legs at the knee. Turn your body to the right side. Then now slowly, slowly come up and sit in Sukhasana, simple with cross legs. Keep your back straight, palms on the knees, eyes remain closed. Take a deep inhalation and deep exhalation. Focus on your Agni Chakra. Completely relax your mind, normalize your breath. Deep inhale and deep exhale. With inhale and exhale, join your palms in front of your chest near the Anaha Chakra heart center. From here, we're going to do one time Om and three times Santipat. Together and louder with inhale. Oh. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Now one more deep inhale and exhale. Rub your both palms together. Put your palms on your eyes, on your face your throat, your neck, shoulders, your arms, chest, abdomen, your thighs, your legs, and your spine everywhere. Now grab your hand behind the back. Now bow your head down to the floor. Be thankful to the God, Mother Earth, Sage Patanjali Ji, Ma Gange, our parents, everyone, for giving us beautiful time for practicing yoga. With inhale, lift your head up. And release your arms down and gradually open your eyes. So thank you so much, everyone. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you so much. I cannot, thank you. I cannot say namaste to everyone like this. So that's why I do like it this way. Namaste. For <laughs> now one time. Thank you. Wonderful time. Thank truly so enjoying. Truly, truly enjoying. Okay, so everyone just thank you. See you tomorrow. Uh, yeah, tomorrow's class. I have one not... question. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can ask.
about uh, the shoulders because sometimes it hurts here so you had mentioned that when you are in down dog you need to uh, put the shoulders down mm -hmm. yes uh, yeah so whenever you are feeling the stretch there that means don't clench your arms like this way like that to, okay. yeah trying to relax that trying to relax, relax like that. that yes yeah like this yes and uh, hands back or just front yeah so on from the back side from the back side see here so whenever you are down facing dog sometimes the shoulder is coming like in this way see what happening my muscles is going to squeeze yeah. just trying to relax this relax this Okay, I Just can't see you. Drop the shoulder down. Did ya? Couldn't see you. You cannot see me because there is no internet connection now. So now you can okay. see. Okay. Mhm. Mm okay. See here. So whenever we are doing downward facing dogs, so if you are giving the more stretch, sometimes what happening? Our shoulder is going like in this way. We are squeezing the neck muscles. So then, try try to relax your shoulders. Mm. Clear? Try to yeah, relax. relax the shoulders. Shoulders. Yeah. So yeah. you can also slightly bend your arms. You can also slightly bend your arms. Okay. Mm -hmm. Clear? Uh, we. Okay. I have one question. Uh, we did that quad uh, quad stretch. So does it have any name? uh for which so, posture snail ji uh this one this one uh holding the uh yeah this is this is this is not any postures we are okay. using this posture to opening the hip opening for the legs uh, the legs muscles to stretching the quads so this is the okay. practice for the advanced posture because the day by day we need to the advanced posture so this is the practice for okay. this okay and okay. in ashwa sanchalanasan how is our uh, face or head is supposed to be i mean uh should we uh, should we look uh, straight in the front or should we look up at the ceiling look forward look forward okay yes. so do we do we have to uh, uh pull our yes. uh yes yes roll the shoulders straight apart okay yeah. so whenever i when i will I, i will teach you the sun salutation completely about the name about the alignment then it will be clear okay 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 good okay thank you thank you so much So Kartik ji, sorry, have one more question. Or not, I don't know. I have one more question. Yeah. Sometimes my um, right knee hurts because I had a Baker cyst in the back of my knee in February, and it is resolved now without any medication. But sometimes it hurts. Yeah. So, so, uh, so Aruna ji, yes, you were. This is very good. You tell. You told me now. That's why I said you. When you feel the, I can see that your postures. So, whenever you are feeling the pain, that posture, don't stretch your knee that much. Just trying okay. to bend your knees. Trying okay. to bend your knees. I did. We did this posture like in this way. So, in this uh -huh. time, we are giving the heavy stretch here. That's why I said, if you are giving the heavy stretch, then bend your knees. Like right. In this way. Okay. Yeah, okay. that helps. So whenever you yeah. are stretching, whenever you are stretching in this one also, that time also, don't stretch that much. Just try okay. to hold here. You can also use mm -hmm. the strap. You can also use oh, the strap yeah. to hold this. Oh yeah, I have strap. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Kilia. Yes. So thank you so much. Thanks. So tomorrow thank is class you. or not? I don't know about it. I will ask Swami Ji. No, tomorrow we are going to meet on Monday now. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you so much, everyone. Thank Namaste. you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bye. Bye.